Hey everybody, welcome back to another LEGO vlog. I don't know what we're going to get up to today. We're for sure going to be going to uh, West Edmonton Mall, where of course there's my LEGO store. And we'll be checking out uh, the LEGO store. We're going to get a few things here. Actually, I've got to uh, pick up a couple of a certain set to ship to somebody in the US. They said they're having a hard time getting the set, so I figured, no worries, we're going to get that dealt with and we're going to ship those to them. Uh, also, we're going to be checking out some other things in the mall as well, like the Disney store, and uh, I think we're going to Costco as well. Maybe they'll have some discounted Lego at Costco, and just sort of, you know, vlogging the entire experience of our day here. But included in that day, of course, is some Lego shopping, so that's really excited. Let's get started. Start our day with some classic over easy eggs. If you're over 30, you'll probably know what this is. It looks like a set from our BrickLink store inventory. Uh, where is it? I think it's right in there. The Star Wars set is moving to a new home. Not the slave one. Ooh, there's a diner there. But this one here, which is the, uh, the Tan of Four. Farewell, my friend. Farewell. So I'm glad I could help somebody out with that set there, which is officially retired. And of course we're gonna go to the Lego store, so I'm gonna replace that with something else. Excited about that. Check this out. We should build this soon. It's like the soccer set. Just chilling in a Tupperware container. I've gotta get that built. Yeah, so we'll, we'll swap that up with something at the Lego store for sure. Uh, this one here sold for 220 Canadian dollars on my BrickLink store. So nothing crazy, I mean, it retailed, I think it originally retailed for $190, so only $30 more, right? Not too bad. I, uh, I'm glad that uh, we're able to help somebody get this in their, uh, in their LEGO Star Wars collection. Pretty cool, man. Uh, 1,768 pieces, 75244. Hey, there's the record player that never gets used. In addition to that, I actually sold two vintage cars on my uh, BrickLink store as well. So there's those all packed up, ready to go, safe and secured, going to the United States. So I guess we'll uh, probably replace those with something else at the Lego store as well. And thank you guys so much for the support through my BrickLink store. It's amazing. Behind the scenes work with Jose right here. Look at all that paperwork. Holy cow. There she is. It's West Edmonton Mall, everybody. Just pulling up. I think the first stop that we're gonna do, of course, is gonna be the Lego store in West Edmonton Mall. So yeah, pretty excited. It's gonna be a good little little day on the town I guess eh? Exciting little uh, Monday Monday plan here with the wife. Okay right there that's the hotel that's the movie theater and that big building right there that's the world water park. And then of course this right here is the Lego store. Woohoo! Hey it looks like they actually updated the displays here at the Lego store too. This actually were, used to be where uh, DJ Llama is. Check out the new cabinets or cubes that they have set up here with the really cool uh, podiums or whatever you want to call them. So we've got the ISS or the International Space Station. Then over here we have the Apollo 11 Lunar Lander. And then we have the Space Shuttle Discovery. I like this. It says capture the wonder, go beyond. That's a neat little display here. Yeah, so it's 11 a.m. now and the LEGO store just opened. Uh, gotta get some stuff, in particular, uh, we got uh, two items going to the U.S. and then we've got to, I don't know, just take a browse around and see see what's good for ourselves, right? <laughs> Again. So we've arrived here at the Lego store and it's still Double Points. Double Points is running until April 20th, so it's definitely a good time to come in here. Also, it's a Monday, so there's like no one here. It's me, Jose, and like seven staff members. <laughs> so we can choose whatever we want, essentially. Right behind us, we got the creator expert stuff. Let's have a look. So my original intention was to come here and pick up a corner garage because apparently that's actually the next modular building that's going. You can see assembly square up here. It's the 10 year anniversary one. And this one's been lasting quite some time. I'm actually pretty surprised. It's actually older than the downtown diner and older than the corner garage, but apparently the corner garage is going next and the downtown diner's already gone. Crazy, eh? So apparently they had two this morning, but those are now gone. Somebody put them on hold, but she said that they're probably gonna get some more uh, in stock relatively soon. Another thing that's gonna be going right away is the 
uh, roller coaster that you just saw up there. And apparently the Harley Davidson Fat Boy and also the James Bond Aston Martin. Now I think these are both great themes and have some great titles behind them. For example, Harley Davidson, there's a lot of avid collectors of Harley Davidson stuff. And I think that one will do well over time, even though it's not the most popular build amongst Lego fans, simply due to the scale when compared to other Lego Creator Expert vehicles and also the lack of chrome. I think it'll still do really well over time. It's a pretty reasonable price point, 140 Canadian dollars, 1,023 pieces. And also the James Bond Aston Martin. It's got that 007 theme or James Bond theme. It's an Aston Martin DB5, which is an iconic car. It's $179.99, 1,295 pieces. I am gonna get those two today. As I told you guys earlier, I sold the Tana 4 and also uh, two of the vintage cars for actually pretty reasonable prices just to help some guys out in the Lego in the Lego community I guess and I'm gonna take that and get those two things there I was hoping to get a corner garage, but I guess not also somebody in the States a fellow Lego fan of and fan of the channel is having a really hard time finding the flower bouquet and also the bonsai tree uh, I have the flower bouquet here at the store, so I figured I'd help him out with that and unfortunately the bonsai tree is not here. It's really hard to find. Now I really like these new space things. We couldn't really see the uh, displays cleanly through the glass there just because the glare. But yeah, look at that. I love that podium. And these displays are pretty cool. Brand new. It's a great theme, a great lineup for sure. The space stuff. I don't really know what else they're gonna do in the lineup, but I'd imagine we're gonna get more. We've got some of the city space stuff mixed up on this little display here and then another thing on display in the cube right here all right we got our bags here pretty cool maybe we're lucky that they didn't have the uh corner garage in stock because uh that was actually fairly expensive but i guess those two flower bouquets are going to the states right away so i'm okay with it yo check out this whale and the whale tail pretty cool eh? i'm actually here in the mall I was told by the Samsung store to go here to maybe get my camera repaired as you saw a little bit of jitter action in this video. So it is confirmed that there is something wrong with my video camera. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes with this phone there is a slight jitter. Uh, it's going to take one to two days to fix and the problem is with that is I'm going to have no phone. So I've got to go home and I've got to back up all my files with a smart switch on the uh, computer and then bring it back here and they'll fix it for me. Sort of annoying, I don't know when I'm gonna get it done. It's not the end of the world, but it's it's really annoying and I've gotta do it within a year. Uh, so the warranty is, is uh, covers the damage, I guess. Not damage, but the, the manufacturer defect with this particular phone that I'm using right now. How annoying is that? Oh my gosh, I just walked by this here. Coffee, donuts, and pastries. Jose's currently at the Disney store uh, doing some shopping, but we're for sure gonna have to come back here and get a donut. Oh my God, blueberry glaze strawberry jam filled. Hey, this will be good to support local too, rather than going to Tim Hortons. So we'll for sure come back here and uh, grab a little snack. Peanut butter filled like Long John. Oh my gosh. This one's got almonds on it. Wow. I'll be back. While I was doing that, Jose was in the Disney store. Now we've made our way back to this bakery here. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see these. Vanilla custard. Cruffin? What's a cruffin? Croissant muffin. Croissant muffin? Are you kidding me? Also, we got these things, like all sorts of croissants and sticky buns and all sorts of stuff. Holy cow. All right, but I gotta, I gotta stick with the donuts, right? Like, there's so many good looking ones here. Peanut butter jam filled. But we're gonna get these four right here. Blueberry glazed, honey glazed, custard filled long john, and also dolce whatever delicious take a look at that coffee that looks unreal oh i get two donuts when you can get four is the big question of the day so we dropped off our parcels picked up some fan mail we're drinking our coffee here walking by the lego store again getting ready to head out of west Edmonton mall i guess so stella while we were at the mall we actually went to their cardboard room and we picked up some uh, boxes here to ship our Bricklink orders in. So here we've got the Tanov, and there we've got our two flower bouquets going out. Oversized boxes, lots of padding, good to go. 
Now we're actually on our way to the post office again to drop these off, and then we're gonna go to Costco. Uh, so Jose went to the Disney store while I was browsing donuts and such, and trying to get this phone fixed. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. But yeah, she's got some stuff from the Disney store. Let's see what you got here. Let's see, this is a sweater for Jose, I think. Not a sweater, it's a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cute. It's got Minnie Mouse on it, pretty sweet. And there's this one with Mickey on it. That's cool. He's got quite the grin on him, doesn't he? And apparently she got me a little surprise as well. She got me something. Are you gonna surprise me now or are you gonna, are you gonna hold it for me? I think I'm gonna hold it for the next event. For the next event? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, it's like next year at, next year Thursday at three or something like that. I guess I'll, I'll hold it. Let's go to Costco, but I heard they got some Lego on sale there. But I got something Costco, while I was waiting for Jordan Costco, too. Costco, Costco. Ooh, you got another Jim Shore. Oops. Jim Shore, oh, it's uh, Cogsworth. Impatiently waiting for Jordan, I went and bought stuff. You got a Jim Shore, did you? But those shirts I actually got with the gift card that was sent to me from the Memberinos nice. for the, uh, the 100K gift. Let's check out so Jim Shore. thank you for that, everybody who is involved in that. Yeah, thank you. I'll show you guys Jim Shore right now. All right, Tico, I'm ready to see it. How about you, buddy? Let's see what you say. Ah. He's so cute. What do you think, Lynn? Lynn, what do you think of it? Uh, yeah, it smells decent. Stella's like, oh, that's that's awesome. Oh, you gave him a kiss, Stella. That's nice. He's pretty sweet. Having an animal party up in here, aren't we? Yeah, it looks awesome. Good choice, Jose. I like Cogsworth. So when we came home from the mall there, I was like, oh, I better back in and leave myself lots of room so I can open up the tailgate and get all the stuff out. Oh my gosh, I never realized how close I cut it. The garage door almost hit the front of my car. Gonna rip my bumper off. No, I would have just stopped the garage door and it would have went back up. Well, look how close that is. It's like an inch. Crazy, eh? So now we're at the good old Costco here. We got our Costco cart, supersized, of course. Check it out. They've got uh, the Mandalorian, the Child, Baby Yoda, Grogu, whatever you want to call it. On for 80 Canadian dollars, which is 20% off. That's something to think about them. They got a lot here. And it also looks like we got some classic sets and also assorted friend sets here as well. The 1500 piece classic set is $54.99 and then the friend sets are $29.99. Those will for sure stay here, but I gotta think about that Grogu for sure. So I just finished walking around all the fun aisles and look at all the food that he's getting. Apparently she's making some sandwiches for lunch from now on and some buns. Looking good. Check out the size of that shed. That is a big shed. So the wife was like, you know what? No Grogu for you today. We've got too many Lego children at home. He's got to stay here. So we just got our standard groceries and a couple dirty dollar dogs from Costco. It's always a nice reward, you know? Come here and pick up a hot dog for a dollar after getting some groceries. Holy cow, a lot of running around today, wasn't there? Went to the Lego store. Then went to the garbage room, got some boxes, got some donuts, some coffee. Jose went to the Disney store while I was researching my phone, seeing what's wrong with it. And packed up those uh, Bricklink orders and we went to Costco, met up with Baby Groves, you know. Now we're home and it's already four o'clock, but I've got something exciting planned for this upcoming week starting right now. I've been meaning to build this for quite some time, and this is the Roman Colosseum. This is bags 1 through 13, so you've got our base, and we're starting to build some of our sections here. And I'm going to start building bag 14 today and continue from there. So I'm really excited to continue building the Roman Colosseum throughout this week and maybe even finish it. It's going to look really good when it's placed somewhere in the vicinity of the Cantina, the Hogwarts Castle, the Boone Alternate Build, which is made from a Coliseum. And also we're going to build these things down here as well quickly and start to fill up these shelves here because actually there's a lot of space open up right there by the plane and by the uh, Darth Vader Sci Fighter Advance there. And I'd like to get this shelf filled up and looking fresh with the addition of a Coliseum, Dreamliner, B-Wing, and maybe much more 
in particular, I'm really looking forward to a gunship that's the size of a coffee table coming out in the near future. Also, I've got uh, two modular buildings to be placed here in the uh, Lego City, and I'll be doing that relatively soon after I get those reviews done. It's actually of a custom Lego store that I built. It looks fresh. It's the best Lego store that I've ever built. And also the pub alternate build for the corner garage. Camera just did its glitch thing again. See what I mean? It's perfect until then. But yeah, and then we're going to place those in the Lego City. So there's going to be some changes coming to the downtown court in the near future. So I'm sitting here live streaming, watching some hockey. Hey, look, it's Gordy Howe. Oh, now he's gone. But yeah, we're building the Coliseum. We just finished the halfway point. So we're halfway there. This is bags 20 of 40 and we're working on bag 21 right now and jose set something upstairs or set up something upstairs and she would like to show you that so take it away jose and she's going to say goodbye to you guys as well but we're really excited to show you the new addition so while jordan was streaming a very exciting item was delivered Ooh, what is it this bad boy right here last week we just ordered this really cute retro mini fridge we're going to use this to store all of our drinks and stuff it is very cute. It's going to go right in this nook here between the cupboards and our, you know, cabinet here. Jordan actually wanted a mini fridge for, you know, to be used as a drink fridge. And the only way I would allow him to do that was if it was cute and didn't look like a fridge. So we're going to get this set up. We will have to move that cabinet over a little bit to make room for it to fit. But, you know, I said it had to be cute, and this one certainly is. So, gonna get it all set up. That was our fun little delivery of the day. Anywho, uh, that's about it. Uh, there was a lot going on today, so hope you enjoyed, and be sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned. Bye for now.